Hey y'all, this is Anya Dekutos. Welcome to all the old ones and the new ones. If you enjoy watching this video, please before you leave, consider clicking that like button, subscribing, commenting, and hitting the bell to be notified every time I upload. This channel is all about the things that I love. And today, we have a subscription box that I love. We've got the Sips by box. This box is so perfect, especially for the cozy cooler months. Uh, I probably will not be getting it during the summer just because I don't drink teas in the summer. And this is a tea subscription box. So this box comes with four different teas, four of each. So you get 16 teas in total. And let me tell you that when you fill out the questionnaire, it does make such a difference. They actually do consider what you like, what you don't like. I have not done it for any of my previous boxes and I like the teas, but some of them weren't my favorite, the ones that I would have picked. This box though, is the first box after I actually filled out what I like. And let me tell you, there's a difference. There's a lot of fruity ones, there's some dessert-like ones, and I cannot wait to show you what I got. So as always, we've got the little card. February is this month. And let me tell you, that month is like the one month out of the whole year that I have trouble pronouncing. So just bear with me here. And then we've got all the teas listed on the back. And the first tea up is by Ticino. I will have all of those names up on the screen. But this is a chocolate raspberry tea. That's the dessert one I was talking about. So this tea has organic roasted carob, organic barley, organic hickory, organic ramen seeds, natural chocolate and raspberry flavors, organic cocoa powder. And I am so thrilled that this tea does not have any artificial flavoring. And let me tell you, I made three teas out of that one bag because it is so intense. Like the first one I made was way too strong for my liking. I did add a little bit of sugar. It says you can add a little bit of milk too. But making it not as strong, adding just a dash of sugar, it was literally dessert in a cup. And I know I've said this before about some of the teas, but I'm thinking this is like the most, most dessert-like tea that I've had so far. This one is caffeine-free, and actually it says prebiotic acid-free on the bag. So let's see what else it tells you about this tea. It says, who can resist the luscious chocolate cake dotted with crimson raspberries? Enjoy this delicious brew, unsweetened, or add a touch of maple syrup to boost the fruitiness. I have not tried that. I just used sugar, but this was absolutely delicious. Next up, we have an Earl Grey tea from Zest Tea. And this one is good for your energy levels. And it is like coffee level caffeine. It says no jitters, no crash, three times more caffeine than regular tea. And then on the back, it shows you uh, black tea versus coffee versus Zest Tea. So very interesting. It's got a lot of caffeine in it. So this tea has South Indian black tea, bergamot essential oil, and natural caffeine. And it says, get ready for a jolt. Zest is the tea industry's answer to a coffee level cup up. This is a classic vibrant blend with a boost of energy. I have had this one. Now let me tell you this, when I drink coffee, it does nothing for me. And I haven't really noticed any difference with this tea, but caffeine just does nothing for me. I mean, I can drink coffee at night and go right to sleep. I definitely drink coffee just for the taste and not for like the energy boosting benefits of it. Next tea is by Davidson's Organic Teas and it is their white pomegranate. And this tea I actually have not tried yet, but I cannot wait to do so. It has organic white tea, organic rose hips, organic hibiscus, organic dried pomegranate and natural flavor. Again, no artificial flavors, which is absolutely amazing because some of the teas are really good tasting and they smell amazing, but they're artificially flavored and scented or whatever. So I'm not really a fan of those, but this is all, all, all natural. This one is low caffeine and it says this blend combines pomegranate essence and hibiscus with a base of delicate white tea and rose hips. 
It creates a tart, rosy brew with sweet pomegranate flavor and a crisp finish. How amazing is this? And last but certainly not least is a tea by Off Black and it is their Squeeze Me Tea. This one has medium caffeine and it has green tea flavoring, lemongrass, orange peel, orange flowers, and jasmine extract. It says this 2020 Great Taste Awards winner has a fresh and juicy character. Green tea is infused with orange flower and jasmine for an aroma therapeutic reset for your body and mind. And this one I've had and it's actually really, really good. I definitely wanted to make sure that I review this box and show you what I got before I drink all the teas because it's really hard to keep myself from doing it and I've had this box for almost a week now and just haven't had the chance to film the video about it so I just had to sit down real quick and do that and show you the amazing teas that we got in this Sips by box and if you do enjoy teas I highly suggest trying these out it is such an amazing experience to be able to try different teas not just the regular ones that you find at your regular grocery store but like really unique and different flavors and if you do end up purchasing it you should let me know what you think and for now enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you again very soon bye